the sixth episode of Nutty Hunt produced by Shimao. Today, it's a special edition because we actually found two super talented stylists to dress up Dimitra, our special guest today. Hi, my name is Dimitra, I'm from Greece. I work in social media and I'm super excited to try out some new styles from the guys at Nothing New. Because I know they are very, very unique as a fashion studio in so many ways. Mm -hmm. Shall we go have a look? Start our adventure! Let's go! Hi! Hi. Welcome to Nothing New! Thank you! Wow, this shop looks amazing! I'm Jamin. I graduate from Royal College of Art Sculpture. This is my working partner, Vaisen. He graduated from photography, and now we are creating the studio of fashion. We have many vintage, archive, and designer pieces in our collections. I think Vaisen has more personal history about vintage because he think vintage fashion suits him more because of his style. His style is more classic than modern fashion wear. Also, a lot of vintage pieces for me presents the fashion of the past. It is quite interesting to get closer to fashion history through vintage clothing. Our guest today is Dimi. Hi, Hi Dimi. So you are going to dress her up today in three different, completely different outfit style. I'm so excited, <laughs> like check these guys out, oh my god. May I ask, what is your job? Uh, I'm in social media, so I basically create content, manage different social media handles and stuff like that. So you work in the office, right? Yes. Okay. So I think the first look for her is for her daily work. Mm -hmm. okay. It would be great. Yeah. So something that so she like can definitely wear in the office. Yes. Office. Okay, let's go. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. 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 Cool. It's like keep track of the sizes. Is it kind of like organized in any way or? Yeah, it just Oh, we know we knows well about each item. You just know where the, what each piece is. Yeah. Wow. But every piece is, is only one, so... This is a Oh, wow, thanks. <laughs> Don't know how it looks. It looks amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I want to see myself. Dimi, that's just this hat for me. Oh, my head is too big for it. Oh, my head is too big. I will wear this for the rest of this show. Mm -hmm. Everything looks great on her, to be honest. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> That's not a lie. Magella? Yeah, I think okay. so. Mm -hmm. You have Magella! Yeah, yeah. Which one? Which one? Uh, the stripe, the colorful stripes. This one? Yes. Very cute jumper. Oh, that's so true. Cute. It's also good for office. Yes. Yeah. And it has a lot of details, like the fringe, you can oh, see. Yeah. Oh, this item is from MM6, which is the sub-brand of Marti Magella. And it is a colorful striped jumper with a very interesting fringe of it. So, and it's also fit for daily dressing. So I will introduce this one to Demi and let her try it. So this is a suit and what is quite interesting is it has a very colorful uh, stripe on the collar uh -huh. and the shoulders which has made it more special than a usual suit. The name of the studio is Nothing New. It comes from a, a sentence in Bible. There is nothing new under the sun. So we love it because of it is poetic and wise for me. And also it is literally fits with the vintage and sustainable fashion for us. Okay. Ah! Oh I actually love the hat. I've never worn something like this. There are different materials with different shades of black, but they are consistent. The nuances make it more stylish. There is a fringe detail which we wanted to keep, but in order to show the waistline, we added a belt. On the one hand, it looks like high-waisted trousers. On the other hand, it becomes a dress with the fringe. When she takes off the blazer, it will be in a new style. How, how do you rate it out of 10? I would rate it, I think, a 7. I think it's super original and it's really, it's super interesting. Mm. Yeah, I really like it. Do you want to name this outfit? Name this outfit? Wait, can I just see it quickly? Okay. okay. It's hard to see. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 
Why are you doing you <laughs> yourself to <laughs> Oh, I like it because I already got the inspiration from the colors. I will call it Office okay, Gothic, Gothic Chameleon. <laughs> so whoever is watching this, if you have a better name, type it in the comments. And if you get the highest like, we will give a surprise from Shimon. Now we are done with the first outfit. I'm very impressed. And now we are going to the second one. So, Demi, yeah. where would you also like to dress up a bit? Maybe like a party, you know, somewhere to go out, something, you know, something to really impress. Um, mm, okay, let's <laughs> do it. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. This is the party, okay? Uh, this is not a normal party. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is for the Oscars. <laughs> oh, this looks a bit big. Whoa. I don't know. Here you go. Mm, okay. Okay. Bit, yeah. no, this one. Is this? this is the Dimi, Dimi, Dimi. What's this? You are from the. How does it, what's, the what's your fairy tale's like, full name? No, yeah. Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> so the second outfit for the party. We got 10 dresses to try, but we will try. Dimi will try the first. Uh, dress first and then they will see what others to pair with this outfit a lot of friends of us like vintage a lot but they always feel they can't find the shops that suitable for them so Vason works as a stylist for many years so our friends trust his taste and encourage us to create our own studio. Some of them it's because of a size and some of them has their own um, style so they want to find some very specific pieces. So sometimes we will help um, our customers to find a very specific things or uh, fits with their style. It took them like one hour to style this outfit. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh my, how is everyone? <laughs> Actually, it is quite a party look. A witch. I, I, I think it's a Halloween party. <laughs> I feel like a rich man's daughter in the 20s um, who's also secretly a witch but oh. is going to like a really cool party. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. I mean, wait. Back with the glove. It's like. Yeah. They, they, they're born for each other. Oh. And it's a actually different colors. Oh, um, that's true. Yeah. Quite fitting. Okay, so I think it will be a theme party. So we mm -hmm. dress her like a witch. Wait, that's genius. <laughs> <laughs> so the red part, it's kind of like a blood of a witch. Oh, and I really like here. the textures on the dress. It makes the layers more vivid and interesting. And also because a witch always uh, accompanied with a crawl. So I want to add some bird oh, No way on the whole the outfit hat. yes oh my god i'm in shock right now i thought they were just throwing things together i had no idea they the... do have a logic behind it yeah, yeah, yeah. the earrings also matching the colors oh. and the necklace we want to uh, find the best proportion one for her so it is more bold than a daily uh, necklace oh. or accessories definitely and also the rings is asymmetrical so yeah. it's more matching the woman also offered uh, us uh, makeup and uh, hairstyle transformation oh my god if you want to do it yeah let's do it yeah i think we are more focused on fashion and styling Apart from our customers, we also have stylists and some small film shooting crews come to us and find some special pieces for their works. And some customers came here and hope to find themselves, find their own style. They have a private environment and a big clothing room for them to spend time. Okay! <laughs> Whoa! It kind of looks like there's been a um, bomb of glitter in my face. Yeah. Um, and it, I actually really like what he's done. Actually, this is really cool. The so. thing is, like, yeah, because I felt him like just brushing everywhere. So I thought it was gonna be like really oh. vivid colors, but it's actually just the black and glittery. Like, yeah. 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 The hairstyle. I don't know how. Very they, unique. How they did this. Okay. Um, okay. Jamie, I mean, tell us more. Tell us more. Basically, I just make like three braids uh -huh. and put it put them together. Yeah. And I want to make her more like a witch, so uh, it will be a bit like chaos feeling oh. over her or so the hair look. Oh. And also the makeup made by Basin, it's more like yeah. fit, fitting the color 
mm. and the texture of the whole look, mm. also the glitters and the red and black tones of it. Yeah, the, there are even some glitz on the eyebrow yeah. <laughs> and the, the eye, eyeshadow, and then like yeah, everything. That is what he each usually other. do, actually. Oh, really? <laughs> I will call it glam Scarlet Witch because Ooh. if you know Scarlet Witch in Marvels, yeah. But whoever think our names are not good enough, please give us your own name. Also, comment in the below, and uh, if you are ha have the highest like, we'll give you a surprise. I'm rating it nine out of ten. I think this is next level party wear. Yeah. And I said like dressed in press. I think they went all out. <laughs> I'm impressed. I don't know about you. I think we are more prefer to find vintage buyer shops and archive fashion. For example, one of a kind in Notting Hill or Relique. They have wonderful collections of archive fashion of luxury brands. Um, in these collections, you can find many pieces that represent a specific style in fashion history. It is iconic and valuable for me. Demi is a Greek, right? Yeah. So we find something looks like a Greek goddess. Yeah! But in a modern way. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. we will put together some of the accessories and also the makeup oh. and the hair look for you. Okay, so we're not going to keep the witch no, makeup. No, 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 no. <laughs> we are going to remove them. Let's do the second outfit. Oh, second Oh my god, I saw her. I saw her. I saw her. Oh my god. <laughs> my ancestors would be so proud. I think everyone's ancestors would be proud of it. <laughs> I just need to know, like, what, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what happens here? I think it's a uh, Vasen's collection of her uh, orchid feather hat, and he actually wear it to his uh, graduation ceremony. What? What's everyone's <laughs> yeah. reaction? Um, I shit? think he's on the <laughs> like the headline of our <laughs> also like there are actually two layers of wet dress yes together yeah. and we also got. we find a shell oh. necklace for her yeah it's it is all like natural elements of the whole outfit also i feel like for this outfit you don't even need to put on any makeup on because you literally just look like a goddess without <laughs> any makeup because yeah it's just so perfect <laughs> seriously i gotta give it 10 are you kidding me like just Come on, 10. 10. It's comfortable, it's, it's a statement. I don't know what else to say, it's perfect. Oh my god, <laughs> will you wear this to a party though? I would wear this to a party. Even with this hat? Yes. <laughs> Especially with this hat. I will call her Athena on the earth. <laughs> okay, whoever watched this, please give us your name. So from the third part, I think we can like work like a stylist like working actually in okay. a magazine uh, environment so okay. we'll try to make you a like a kind of like a high fashion magazine cover look for you <laughs> really like a scarf how many belts and the scarves and the <laughs> you just keep bringing things out and we don't even know Okay. So, uh, you can wear this underneath. This one, okay. Yes. This comes first. This one. Okay. This one first, and then the dress, the second one. Yeah. Okay. And this is the third layers, and, and okay. then this one. Trust them. Got it. Skirt. I've got, got no it. idea what's happening, but Me trust them. Let's do it. Yeah. We are not only a fashion store, we are more like a cultural salon that artists and fashion lovers can come together, make friends, and share their value and lifestyles. It is more like an artist community where everyone, especially people with ethnic minority backgrounds, can find their own space. There are so many layers as I think. <laughs> Do you feel comfortable oh with God. the outfit? You know, I actually don't feel that uncomfortable. I mean, I can't like. Yeah, too yeah, much, that's but true. I, I can breathe. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> this kind of uh, outfit is just for shooting. Yeah. Oh, so you can't really. Oh, you're not supposed to. Wear yeah. It else. Uh, shall we count how many layers first? One. I guess this is the, the underneath one. Yes. One. Two. Maybe the sh two, shirt. Yes. Three. Four. 
five, six, six layers only, not that many. Come on, y'all. And then the, on the hat, there's one, on the other side? two, three. Three layers on the head. And also something for the hand, one layer. Wow. Oh, actually four layers because there are some uh, flowers. Yeah, so that's there's some the accessories. Hat, hat as well. So we think the whole look is quite like an ecosystem. The green and the blue represents the earth. So our earth is like uh, green and blue, oh. right? And a lot of different color layers, it represents different cultures and different people. The, also the flowers, the straws, and some of the leathers and knitting wax. It represents like the handmade tradition of a human being. The whole look, it's kind of like the mother of earth. Oh, the mother of earth, oh my God. Yeah, and also okay. we want to highlight the feminine part of the whole look, like the um, triangle shape of the vest. Uh-huh. Yeah, and also flowers and a lot of uh, pink elements. Oh. So you actually wear the things that can represent the whole history of human beings <laughs> and also the, the, I don't know, the evolution of uh, Earth as a planet as well. super experimental never been the person to get styled and mm. it's been such an interesting experience having you guys do this and choose the outfits and just it makes me really think kind of outside of the box as we can see the process how, how it escalates from the only like a simple office look to something actually can be on the magazine cover and like the whole process is just really interesting also it's, it's actually very very well curated by you guys yeah. and because you guys think through and you ask us what we want and combine with what you actually want to create yeah. all of this so thank you so much thank, thank you. you today for helping us and guide us into your fashion world here we have two very very talented stylists here to help you and guide you through the tour please if you're on YouTube subscribe to our channel and on Bilibili Yijian San Lian and see you in the next episode. See you. Come have a look. <laughs> they have clothes in their bathtub. <laughs> I'm just gonna wash myself here. <laughs> this is the most unique fitting room that I've ever seen.